Hey guys, Brandon Fix here. Today I'm going to show you how to put on your kill switch on a go kart. So, the things you are going to need is your kill switch with its mounts, it's a socket, a net and a bolt, some tie downs, clippers, and something to clean down the wires with. Let's get started. So, first, you're going to want to get your clean. And you don't have to do this, I just like to do this so it gets a better spark to shed off and on with. Just getting those, get you get in that little circle spot, try scrubbing it a little bit. And I'm like, blow off all the rest of the stuff, I just wiped onto it. You should also do it to the other wire part. And you should also make sure both wires are in there pretty tight. If they're not, you can always get a heat shrink gun and heat shrink down the rest of this stuff. But in case, in case mine is down. And I also mentioned you're going to need a small screwdriver and a big screwdriver. So now you can grab your kill switch. So first, you should get your small screwdriver and start screwing in that spot. I like to turn mine sometimes. Sometimes you can turn it get in there a little bit better. Then, get your bigger screwdriver and get in there. The only reason why I do two different is the small one doesn't like to screw it in. And I just do that just to get the bolt and screw in. Now mine's a little bit of an older kill switch. That's why it takes a little bit longer. So we gotta put this side on first. Okay, so I got that on. Just make sure you flip the switch just to make sure it doesn't move around. If it does, you can give it an extra tighten. But mine's on pretty good. Good enough to where I can just flick it. Now is the wiring part. You can get your socket and your bolt and your other wire and connect them. So what you're gonna want to do is grab your two wires. Give me a second out and bolt this. Grab them. Slide this through or screw this part in first. And grab your other one and it should slide right in. Grab the bolt. Hold this and bolt that in. Make sure these two wires are aligned first. Then you can grab your socket and grab your extension socket, not the socket wrench, because I like to use this one a little bit better for long spots that's hard to reach into hold this down and bolt that then I like to grab my small socket and just give it a little bit of torque down to it makes it a little bit easier Now that I got that on, we can get the clamping. Now you now you can get your small clamps. You don't want to get the big ones. The small ones help. And you could get the ones that match your paint job. But still I have a black seat holder, a black roll cage, small one, some black pedals, a black handlebar, black tires. Um, I'm just going to put some black on this. So we're going to come all the way back to the motor, find the cord, and pull it back a little bit, so it just get a little bit tightened. Now you might have to do what I did, I had to move mine up just to tighten this a little bit, but I don't know, if you guys get in the right angle, you might not have to do it. So I'm putting mine 
right here. And for the last step, you can grab your clippers. And make sure this is tight. So you can grab your clippers. And just clip off that edge so it looks good. And I wanted to put out there, I got my carb cleaning kit. Well, my carb cleaning tool. All this does it has like little tiny hook things that you can get into the jets and it makes the jets a little bit easier to clean inside the carb and the jets are really located inside this part of the carb um i did break the bolt for my mount put my air filter in i tighten it too hard um i did fix my steering a little bit better all i did is put some where is it well I put some oil in it. Oh, here it is. Put some motor oil. And these spouts make it a whole lot easier. And then I took a lighter and started lighting it while hitting it. And that just kind of broke out some of the rust. And it steers a lot better now. Um, I need to get.